please all remember Brittany and Kirok. They were on the season of Love After Lockup and Life After Lockup a few seasons ago. I believe Kirok was one of the first trans castmates we have ever had on the show. And him and Brittany got engaged last time we saw them on their season. Well, Brittany shared some unfortunate news. And I want to go ahead and talk about it and react to the video she shared. I missed her live talking about this, but she said, I recently went live talking about the situation and what happened, and I know that the video cuts off, so let me semi-explain. This was a hate crime. At first, I thought maybe we had a nice car and we were visiting the area, staying at a family's friend's house, thinking that we're safe after speaking to all the neighbors and being nice to them. Turned out this happened because my fiance is a trans man. It saddens me to say we were attacked, shot at, robbed, and could have lost our lives. Because of the fact that we're in a relationship some people in the world don't see as normal. Thank God the bullet didn't hit Kirok and he stood on business and handled his own with no weapon in his two bare hands. After the video cut off and this man's clip falls out, the strap Kirok bum rushes him and fights him off. And then the other guy proceeds to hit him with his gun on the head. So he was just repeatedly pistol whipping Kirok and Brittany was processing what was happening and she ran to help him and she was yelling and hitting at this guy even though I could have lost my life. They tried to rob us and it went not in their favor. Neither of them knew the platform that we have and the supporters we have in this world. Show you that people can lose their life any day due to the hatred in this world. Please share this because LGBTQ lives matter, trans life matters, People aren't speaking on this. Speak up. Lend support to each other. This happens to people and it's not talked about. Please share and repost this video to show people life isn't guaranteed every day. This is a miracle that we didn't lose our lives. Due to hatred and envy, any hate comments will be deleted. And then she tagged Love After Lockup. And Deontay was in the comments saying, I just spoke to Rock. Glad y'all are okay. So let's go ahead and watch the video. Okay. Hey, what the fuck? Hold up, hold up. What? Hold up, hold up. Hold Oh my god, that is crazy. That is just so ridiculous to be willing to take someone's life over something like that. And shout out to Brittany. She saw Kirok and this dude getting in a confrontation and this dude pull out a gun. And she decided to run to the trouble and put her life in risk to try to help Kirok. That gave me anxiety just watching it. Let's watch it again. I'll try to slow it down when I edit it so you guys can get like a better look. Okay, it looks like they pulled up and thank God they had a ring camera. And I'm curious if there's the neighbors or just some random people. Okay, so they That's get out the car. Better. Hey, what the fuck? Okay, that definitely looks like it may potentially be neighbors because one came around the car and came up at came up behind Kira with a gun, and you can hear him cocking his gun back as he was running around the car, and then you see this dude run up. But he put a strap on him. At the end, we see Kirok begin to bum rush that dude like Brittany explained after he shot at him. And that takes some freaking guts to be able to do something like that. I don't know. I kind of, how it looks to me at first, it's just like a straight up robbery. And that's what she said that they tried to rob him. But for some reason, she said that there she does believe it's because of his sexual orientation. And I'm sure they said something to them to make them believe that's why 
they were pointing them out as a target that night. I just don't get it, like, why there's so much hate in this world and why people are so pressed about what other people are doing. Like, just let them live their freaking life. It's not worth taking someone's life over. But just shows that you got to keep your head on a swivel at all times and be aware of your surroundings. And Kirok and Brittany really reacted quick in a life or death situation. You know, Kirok put himself in a lot of risk bum rushing that dude. But what else are you supposed to do? Try to run away and potentially get shot? He didn't back down. You know that had to be so freaking traumatic to go through. I feel so bad for them. People are just so ridiculous. She said she was visiting one of her friends. That's why, like, I moved out of the city. Because when I lived in the city, I had all kinds of crazy, stupid things going on. Because people were just mad at the world. This was a hate crime, she says. I wish I would have saw her lie because I would love to hear a follow-up. Like, did the police show up? Did they catch the guys? I feel like she's putting the video out because they may have not caught the dudes yet. But I'm curious. I want to hear an update after this. It's 2024. Like, people should not still be tripping over people for who they love. And my heart goes out to them. They'll definitely be my prayers. And Brittany and Kirok will be returning for the next season of Life After Lockup. Love After Lockup comes on this upcoming Friday. I believe it's the 26th. Yeah, Friday the 26th. And usually Life After Lockup's like three, four months after that. So I'm sure Life After Lockup will be coming back in around October or November. And that's when we can expect back to see Brittany and Kirok back. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about everything in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.